Halloween's two weeks from tomorrow, and a lot of unusual characters tend to appear on that day. You bet they do. We've heard about one with sharp claws, spines down to its back, and a body the size of a small truck, thanks to someone who likes to think big. Photojournalist Peter Rosen has his story. Artist Stephen Kessler tried something new. But when you went big, in a big way, you went really big. Shop crane big, fire truck big, giant iguana big. Right, right, it was a huge jump. I mean, it happened so quick. I haven't had a lot of time to really reflect back on what's really happened for the past four years of my life. Just a few years ago, Kessler worked in only two dimensions, but then he saw work by hyper-realistic sculptor Ron Muick. He works in exaggerated scales. And for Christmas, he asked for a lump of clay. It was little, literally a stocking filler. The first uh, piece I made was a small elephant. Every piece just got larger and larger. When one of his brothers died of cancer, Kessler spent a year sculpting a bust of him. I look at it as I spent a year with my brother learning and grieving. And when an aquarium came to town, Kessler, the whale shark, who wears his love of marine life on his skin, giant squid versus sperm whale, manta rays that cover my back, got involved and eventually earned a commission. Standing underneath one of these is humbling. For a whale shark. Almost overwhelming. That led to eight foot leatherback turtle, poison dart frog, giant squid, four manta rays. Even bigger things. We have 50 foot humpback whale, a 19 foot calf. So what's it like to sculpt a whale? It's like sculpting a wall. <laughs> foam wall that you attack by hand. A lot of these I did because I wanted to see them too. Like I wanted to walk underneath a whale shark in a manner and I wanted to walk underneath the humpback. Every time I see it, I, it still seems big to me. What are you doing? Now Kessler. Nice to come down a little bit in scale. Is scaling back. This is coming down in scale? Yeah. With a giant iguana. 30 feet from nose to tail. A commission he and two of his brothers are handcrafting for the Red Iguana restaurant. How do you go big? How do you think that big? I, I, I find it easier to work large scale than I do smaller. Easier for me to envision how I'm gonna approach something just walking around it. Some might see monsters. There was never a time I was too afraid to try anything. Stephen Kessler sees challenges. When anyone, you know, says, oh, I don't know how to sculpt, I, I couldn't do that. I said, well, I didn't either. Try something new, he says. I opened up a box for, I got for Christmas, and three years later, this is what happened. It might lead to something. Open up a box and there might be a well inside. Big, really, really big. Peter Rosen, KSL 5 News. Peter, thank you. That